Hey guys, it's Mastermind2368 here. I sometimes like to modify with the save files of my Pokemon games. There's a number of reasons why you might want to do this. I personally do it so I can easily transfer Pokemon from one game to another. You can use in-game methods, but it's kind of inconvenient compared to this. Additionally, I've used to do trade with all Pokemon in the past, which can be a much easier way if you don't have a friend to do it. But you could also do this if you want to cheat and, you know, give yourself a really powerful Pokemon. Whatever your reason is, you might want to modify the save file, and that's totally valid. Before I only knew how to do this on my computer, but recently I've learned how to do this on my phone. So if you have an Android phone, I'm going to show you how you can modify the save files of Pokemon games. So without further ado, let's get into it. So go ahead over to the first link in the description and it'll look like this on GitHub. Scroll down to the very bottom and click on releases. Once you're over here, click on the PK Hex Maui APK. You know, ask if you want to download it. It's asking me if I want to download it again because I've downloaded it. So just give it a minute and it'll download. Press open and it will say open with, it might say that might not. We'll probably just say package install or choose that. And for me, it's asking if I want to update for you. It'll ask if you want to install. It also might ask if you want to allow apps from a third party source. It might take you to settings. Allow it to do that. That will allow us to get this app on here. Just press install. And as you can see, it's done. So now we can go ahead and open it. So once you're in here, go ahead over to the hamburger menu and go ahead and press settings. Now we're going to want to load your save file so you can navigate that, try to find where it is. Mine's in my downloads folder, so I'm just going to go ahead, select it, and boom, it's loaded. If you're playing on an emulator, try to find the emulator's folder. You can go into your emulator and figure out where it is. And once you've done that, go ahead over back to the hamburger menu and go to box slash party. This will have all your boxes. So I'm going to go over the box one. That's where I have most of my favorite Pokemon. And from here, if you want to modify, tinker around with one of them, click on it and press view. Now we can go back to the hamburger menu, PK editor. And as you can see, my Verizian is there. So you can change a lot of different things. If you don't plan to transfer this to modern generations, then have fun, go wild. But if you do, make sure that that check mark over there is checked. Otherwise, it'll be illegal and you might get banned. I'm just going to go ahead and change this to level 80. And it says it's fine. Um, you can change a bunch of stuff. Um, I got it with the Ultra Ball, I guess, back in May. Um, I didn't get it from my egg today. But that's, was that today? Yeah, I guess today. Um, yeah, you can change the stats, the EVs, the moves. Um, I'm not going to bother doing all of that. I don't need to do that. All I need to do is level mine up. But, for example, if you want to go into the moves, go there, choose a move. But yeah, just go ahead and mess around with it. And once you're all done, go ahead back to your box and click on, I would say, an empty spot to just start with and press set. Now, this will be the modified Verizian. So if we click on this one and we press view, we go back to PK Editor, it'll be level 8. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly modify a few of my other Pokemon. Okay, I finished modifying my own Pokemon. If for whatever reason you want to give yourself a different Pokemon, you can click on Species. Just choose one of the species over here. And so, like, let's say, I don't know, I wanted to give myself Axie. Click on him, re-roll, and just fix whatever it tells me is there. So I'd have to go ahead and mess around with that. I'm not interested in doing that, but that's something you could do if you wanted to. And over here, I see all my Pokemon. I'll delete some of those extras when I'm done and I have it back in the game. But for now, you know, I just, I want to keep extras just in case I mess something up. Once you're about done, go ahead. Back over to settings, export save, and you can export it wherever you want to. I'm just going to call mine level 80, just because I must move lots of mine up to level 80. Press save, and it'll say success. So where you go from here depends 
on where you're playing your Pokemon game, but you'll pretty much want to transfer your save back to wherever you got it from. In my case, I'm just going to upload it to Google Drive and I'll get it back on my DS with my R4 card and I'll show it to you. So I just wanted to note a couple of things. First of all, make sure you keep a backup of all your save files just in case something goes wrong with one of them. This isn't just hyperbole, like I've had this happen, so be very careful. Additionally, with messing around this app, I've been getting a few errors. Sometimes it's not able to read my box. So just make sure that you just mess around with it for a little bit. What I found worked the best was to export directly to my Pokemon save file. I made a backup of my old save file and then I exported directly to the save file. So go ahead and do that. That might help some of your problems. Additionally, when you export, make sure that it doesn't say zero bytes. Sometimes for me when I was exporting, it was not exporting any information and it was all empty. So I don't know what was going on there. It seems a little bit janky, but after trying a few times, I did get it to work. So it should work for you. Just be careful with it. So here I am on my DS. I'm just gonna go ahead and open up my boxes. I didn't keep most of the duplicate Pokemon, but as you can see, the Pokemon that I have up here are all level 80 that I changed them to. This one over here, also level 80. I made a duplicate of that. But yeah, that worked out for me. Like I said earlier, it did take a couple of tries before the save file was recognized, but I think if you just keep messing around with it and don't change more than you need, it should probably work fine for you to get your Pokemon changed how you want and put them back on wherever you're playing your game. So that's about it for this video. I hope you're now able to modify your Pokemon save files, and have fun with it, just mess around. If you have any more questions, you can leave me a comment, and if I know the answer, I'll try to answer you. But I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope that you have a really good day. Goodbye.